Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, we will learn about the conditional probability. In conditional probability, we find the probability of an event based on an other event that has already been occurred. We generally denote the conditional probability by this symbol. This symbol is usually read as the probability that B occurs given that A occurs, or simply the probability of B given A. To understand the concept of conditional probability, we consider an example suppose if a fair die is rolled what is the probability of getting a prime number if it is known that an odd number has already occurred here s is the sample space a is the event of odd number and b is the event of prime number now we will show the sample space event a and event b with the help of Venn diagrams s is the sample space and represented by this rectangles this circle represents the event A and this circle represents the event B. This intersection part represented by A intersection B. All the outcomes which are represented in sample space and event A and event B are placed accordingly in this Venn diagram. Here you can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 are mentioned in this sample space covered by this rectangle which is the sample space and uh, 1, 3, 5 is present in this circle which is represented by A and 2, 3, 5 of event B covered this circles are represented by B and 3 and 5 are the intersection between A and B. Now you can see that the probability of A is equal to 3 by 6 because there are 3 outcomes in A and the total number of outcome in the sample space is 6 so the probability of A is equal to 3 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 2 similarly the probability of b is also equal to 3 by 6 which is equal to 1 by 2 now suppose that it is known that the toss of the die resulted in odd number this means that event a has already been occurred so what will be the probability of b now we are dealing with a reduced sample space a 1 3 5 because this event has already been occurred which is a subset of s to find the probability of b relative to the reduced sample space a we find that b contains the two elements which are 3 and 5 denoting this event by the symbol b given a we write b given a is equal to 3 and 5 and hence probability of b given a is equal to 2 by 3 let me explain further when we are dealing with unconditional probability the probability of b is equal to 3 by 6 because these three outcomes from the sample space are related to our event b which is the prime number so in this way probability of b is equal to 3 divided by 6 which is equal to 1 by 2 but someone give us an additional information that another event B has already occurred then what will be the probability of B now we have no concern with this sample space now we will deal with the reduced sample space which is represented by A and is equal to 1 3 and 5 now we will search our event B in our reduced sample space A so there are only two outcomes 3 and 5 which are also present in this reduced sample space so the event b given a is equal to 3 by 5 and hence the probability of b given a is equal to the 2 by 3 this means that the event may have different properties when considered relative to the different sample space we can write probability of b given a is equal to 2 by 3 by dividing 6 in numerator as well as in denominator we have probability of a intersection b in the numerator and probability of a in the denominator because a intersection b is equal to 3 and 5 so the probability of a intersection b is equal to 2 by 6 so by dividing the unconditional probability of intersection between a and b with the probability of the given event we have the conditional probability of b given a and this way we are able to derive the formula for the conditional probability and similarly the probability of 
a given b is equal to probability of a and section b over probability of b here you can see that whatever the event is given the probability of that event will be in the divisor now come to in other situations that our sample space s is the population of adults in a small town who have completed the requirement for a college degree we shall categorize them according to the gender and employment status the data is given here employed unemployed male and female one of these individual from 900 is selected at random for tour throughout the country to publicize the advantage of establishing new industry in the town we shall be concerned with the following events what is the probability of man given that the person is employed using the reduced sample space e we find that the probability of m given e is equal to the 460 divided by 600 which is equal to 23 by 30 let n a denote the number of elements in any set a using this notation since each adult has an equal chance of being selected we can write probability of m given e is equal to number of elements between m and e divided by number of elements in e now dividing the numerator as well as the denominator with number of elements in the sample space in this way we have the probability of m intersection e because this is the probability of m intersection e and this is the probability of e where probability of e intersection m or m intersection e is the same thing and probability of e are found from the original sample space s to verify this result note that probability of e is equal to 600 divided by 900 because the total employed persons are 600 from 900 people and the probability of m intersection e the person is a man as well as employed so the person is a male as well as he is employed is equal to 460 so the probability of m intersection e is equal to 460 divided by 900 now applying these results in this formula we have 23 by 30 this result is equal to this result which is calculated directly from 460 divided by 600 now consider the independent even in the die tossing experiment discussed earlier we note that the probability of b given a is equal to 2 by 3 whereas probability of b is equal to 1 by 2 that is probability of b given a is not equal to probability of b indicating that b depends on a here probability of b is unconditional probability and this is the conditional probability so the conditional probability is not equal to the unconditional probability this means that b depends on a this means that a and b are dependent now consider another experiment in which two cards are drawn in succession from ordinary deck with replacement the events are defined as a the first card is in s b the second card is a spade since the first card is replaced before the next draw so our sample space have no effect of first in this way our sample space for both first and second draw consist of 52 cards containing four aces in 13 space hence the probability of b given a is equal to 13 by 52 because the total card in the second draw is also 52 cards out of them 13 are spades so the probability of b given a is equal to 13 by 52 which is equal to 1 by 4 and unconditional probability of b also equal to 13 by 52 which is also equal to 1 by 4 this means that the probability of b given a is equal to probability of b when this is true the event a and b are said to be the independent event similarly if probability of a given b is equal to probability of a this means that the occurrence of b has no impact on the probability of occurrence of a hence the occurrence of a is independent of the occurrence of b now we are able to define the independent events two events a and b are said to be independent if and only if probability of b given a is equal to probability of b or probability of a given b is equal to probability of a 
assuming the existence of the conditional probability otherwise a and b are dependent now we come to the multiplication law of probability for dependent events if in an experiment the event a and b can both occur then probability of a and section b is equal to probability of a into probability of b given a provided that probability of a is greater than 0 this means that probability of a must exceed 0 similarly the probability of a and section b is equal to probability of b multiplied by probability of a given b if the event b is given provided that the probability of b is greater than 0 this result come from this conditional probability and this results come from this conditional probability just multiply this denominator with the left side we have probability of intersection b now we come to the multiplication law of probability for independent events two events a and b are independent if and only if probability of intersection b is equal to probability of a multiplied by probability of b therefore to obtain the probability that two independent event will both occur we simply find the product of their individual probabilities now we come to the examples related to the dependent events suppose that we have a fuse box containing 20 fuses of which five are defective if two fuses are selected at random and removed from the box in succession without replacing the first what is the probability that both fuses are defective in this example we first draw a fuse and we will not replace it in the box before drawing the next in the solution we shall let a be the event that the first fuse is defective then the probability of a is equal to 5 by 20 because there are 5 defective fuses total are 20 fuses so the probability of a is equal to 5 by 20 which is equal to 1 by 4 and b be the event that the second fuse is defective if the defective fuse is selected now in the box there are 4 defective fuses and 15 other fuses total are 19 so the probability of b given a is equal to 4 by 19 then we interpret a intersection b as the event that a occur and then b occur after a has occurred probability of a intersection b is equal to probability of a into probability of b given a therefore the probability of a intersection b is equal to 1 by 4 which is equal to the probability of a and 4 by 19 which is equal to the probability of b given a so after multiplying we have 1 by 19 consider another example related to the multiplication law of probability for independent events a small town has one fire engine and one ambulance available for emergency the probability that the fire engine is available when needed is 0.98 and the probability that the ambulance is available when called is 0.92 in the event of an injury resulting from burning building find the probability that both the ambulance and the fire engine will be available assuming they operates independently let a and b represent the respective event that fire engine and ambulance are available then probability of a and section b this means that both ambulance and engine are available is equal to the product of individual probabilities so this is equal to 0 0.9016